six cash purchases. So this chapter has seven lessons in it. Okay, so those are the objective, the seven lessons. The first objective, we're going to be computing the sales tax. Then the second one will be doing the calculating of the total purchase uh, price. And then the determining the unit price. Then we'll find uh, the best buy based on the unit price. And then you're going to be calculating an item uh, final price after using a coupon solving for the dollar amount as a markdown and then at the end computing the sales price with a break anyway those some of those um, sections are going to be uh, together we're going to be do, we combine them together so we'll see when we when we get to them now uh, this is the first section which is our lesson sales tax now now you know that there's a sales tax usually in every country so, but every country has a different uh, uh, percentages. Even in the states, you have every, every state has a different percentages. Now here they're mentioning, for example, if you, somebody is living in Austin, Texas, uh, they have 6.25 percent as a, a local city and a, count, and a county tax. So they have two two different ta kind of taxes. So it's a combined. Uh, if you combine them together, you get an 8.25 8 percent. Uh, and then say this is how much you're 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 buying or so then you're going to multiply it by the taxes uh, as a percentage and then you add it at the end for as a final uh, total sale okay but this is only if you want to collect uh, you can you want to you know uh, find the amount for the sales tax now the next section will be about uh, total purchase uh, price so you're, you're buying an item, that means you need to add the tax on top of it. So like I said, you know, you could, we could combine them in one section. Uh, here they ask us to find how much is the selling price, knowing that we have uh, the final amount, for example. The next section will be about the unit pricing. So uh, usually it's good to know that, uh, you know, if you want to buy something, you need to know the unit price. So, so you could compare. I mean, this is, that's where your comparison comes in after that. Um, buying a gallon of milk is better than uh, buying um, a pint of, of milk, for example, uh, or, or a 16 ounce uh, or of some kind of juice, for example, compared to a one liter juice, for example. You know, you want to come, you could want to compare different companies, different prices. So, and that's what you're going to be doing at the end. So, you want to, you are a shop, you want to know what you're shopping. Uh, are you getting the best prices or, or you're not, for example? Okay, and this is all like a combination of word problems uh, with algebra plus, you know, normal, you know, math, uh, math problems. Uh, coupons and rebates. Uh, so now we're going to learn about the difference between the coupons and rebates. Uh, uh, you know, so this is all going to happen in class. Uh, that's it. And um, if we have extra time, we'll do the markdown. And then we'll go from markdowns, which is the last one, which is also related to which is the sales price. So you need to find the find the final selling price with the markdown, for example. So if you have a discount, you need to find out how much you're going to be the final amount that you're going to pay the teller, for example, uh, or the cashier. And that's it. that's the whole chapter, by the way. All right. So we'll try our best, you know, to do as much as we can in this chapter. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye.